Hello everyone, it's Kendra here, Ms. Kincaid. Welcome back to my channel. So today I would love to show you guys how I created this perfect Bantu night out. It is giving me so much life right now. So if you would love to see, please keep watching. I am starting off with dry, dirty hair. So a couple of days I did the lock method using the Hydro Curls Leave-In Conditioner, Jamaican Black Castor Oil, and Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So my hair right now is dry and dirty. So on top of the products I already have in my hair, I'm going to add my all-time fave, the Lotta Body Moisturize Me Curl and Style Milk. I pretty much use this to set all of my styles. I love this stuff. You'll also need bobby pins and a water bottle to spray your hair if it's drying out. So I'm gonna start off with a section of hair. I am going to saturate my hair just a little bit with water, then I'm going to apply my product and work it in really well. Also, I'm gonna make sure that my hair is detangled before I start twisting. Now I'm gonna start twisting the hair as though I am twisting my hair into a finger coil. I'm gonna make sure it's twisted all the way down to the end, and then I'm gonna simply twist it into a knot and make sure my ends are tucked well. Now that I've created my knot, I have to make sure that it's secure. My hair is fine in this section, so it will unravel on me if I don't secure it with a rubber band or a bobby pin of some sort. So I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm going to slide it in the root just to make sure that my ends stay tucked and that the bantu knot stays uh, together and does not unravel while drying. Now I'm gonna repeat the same steps throughout my hair. So now that I'm all done installing my Bantu knot, let me give you a twirl so you can see how big I did the sections in the back of my hair. It took me about an hour total to install all of the Bantu knots, which is not that long. So now I'm just going to wrap my hair in a satin scarf. I am going to let this style air dry for a long time. More than a day, I think I let this air dry. The longer, the better. So it's been about 24 hours and I'm pretty sure my knots are all dry. Bantu knots take the longest amount of time to dry because they're so tightly coiled together that the air cannot enter to dry the hair. So you wanna make sure that you allow plenty of time for your Bantu knots to dry. That's the most important part because you wanna get that grand definition. So now I'm just taking out my bobby pin so that I can unravel my Bantu knots and start separating. The Lotta Body product that I use is very moisturizing. However, I like to keep my hands coated with an oil just to prevent any frizz that I might incur while unraveling um, my Bantu knots. So I'm gonna coat my hands with an oil. To unravel the Bantu knots, I'm just simply going to twist the curl at the root in the opposite direction that I knotted it in and it should come right out. So once I have untwisted all of my Bantu knots, I am ready to separate. I'm going to separate, separate, separate child because I love a lot of volume and a lot of fullness. So I'm going to separate in very small sections so that I can get the volume that I desire.
Now that I'm done separating to my desire, I'm going to use my handy dandy pick and I'm going to raise the roots of my hair to create even more volume. You guys know I love a lot of volume and with this style it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I would recommend you separate, separate, separate so you can get the most fullness, the most definition, the most volume ever that you've ever seen in your life. Okay, so I'm going to use my pick and I'm just going to raise the roots to give myself more volume. Then I'm going to use my fingers to just shape the hair in the shape that I desire. So now I'm just going to use a little bit of Eco Styler Gel to lay my edges. Let me just tell you that no style is complete until your edges are laid, honey. It just brings it all together and it frames your face as well. So I'm just using a little Eco Styler Gel to lay down my edges. And this is the final look, but let me just tell you that all life has been given. The Bantu gods have come down and shined their light over my head. I am absolutely loving this style. The definition is crazy. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would recommend you guys keep up with me on Instagram to see how I preserve this style. I guarantee you that I have all of the answers to your questions on my Instagram. It's at Miss Kendra K. And for those of you that are not Instagram fiends like I am, <laughs> I also post everything on my Facebook page, which I will link down in the description box. So if you want to know more tips on creating the perfect Bantu knot out, please visit my blog, which I will also link in the description box. As always, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.